Hi, this is JP LaForest from EfficientAnalyst.com. In this video, we're going to see seven very quick and easy ways to filter your data. Now, the dashboard that I have here, if you'd like to see how to create this and how to get the data set for the Rolling Stones Top 500 albums, I invite you to watch my previous video where I show how this was built. And with that out of the way, we'll start with our first filter and also created a second page here and basically you have this graph on top here you have the grid in the bottom and on the second page I did a very quick grid which is the years and the number of albums so when you go in the filter tab here this will apply to the entire chapter and you can drag any of the attributes that you have here or even the metrics but in this case we'll bring the year and we'll filter on 1959 and as you can see here it was pretty good year for jazz and when you apply the filter it filtered the grid on top here it also filtered the grid on the bottom and it also filtered the second page because this is a chapter filter, so anything under this chapter would get filtered. Whereas if you create a new chapter, you're going to see this one doesn't have the filter. So whether you're on page 1 or page 2, the chapter filter remains. And you can click all to get all of them back. And you can also uncheck one at a time. But one of the great features of MicroStrategy I like is the only filter. So if you click to only, it deselects all of the other options and selects only that one. And you're not limited to only this type of checkbox also. So you can do an include, so you're only going to include the records that you choose. Or you can go exclude and work it the other way around. But also you have multiple display styles, so you have checkboxes. Slider mostly works well with uh, metrics, but you also have a search box, so you could type in 1959, and it's going to appear like this. Or you can use the radio buttons, or drop down. And you'll see that different type of filters have different options, but these are very common to most of them. So we'll go back to the first page and we'll delete this filter so we don't get confused between filters as we go forward. The next one that's commonly used is the filter on top here. And in the newest versions, you'll have two options here. Previously, there was only one option. But if you use the element and value filter, this allows you to select what you're going to filter on. So we're going to use the year filter again and go in select target and you can select either this one here so you'll see the source icon and target icon here and you can select vote or just one at a time. So we'll start by selecting just the visualization on top here and we'll go to our display style and use the uh, button bar instead and we'll go on our good old trusty 1959 and you can see that this time because we selected only this one as the target it filtered that one and if you go back in select targets you could say I actually want to target both of these and if you go and select targets again and you say, actually, I only want to select the bottom grid, which is this one here, then the 1959 filter only filters the bottom one here, or you can go back in all. The next type of filtering that you can do is you can filter a specific visualization so either the graph on top or the grid here and do it more in a background kind of way that doesn't take up any real estate space 
So if you click the more icon in the top right here and go in edit filter, you can add a new qualification. And in here you can select any of the attributes or metrics that you have. And you can select again what you'd like to filter on. So in this case here, you can see the filter is applied always to this uh, grid here, which is where we applied it. And in top left, you'll see this icon here that shows that this is being filtered by this type of visualization filter. And if you click on this advanced qualification, this is where you can go in and either make changes to it or you can delete it over here if you want to have this result unfiltered. One of the new visualization types that just came out is the visualization filter at the chapter level. And what this looks like is it gives you a visualization here that you can create. So let's take our trusty year and put a row count on the horizontal. And that way you can see how many albums per year. And if you click on done, this will give you this uh, visualization filter in the chapter here. And when you click here, your graph that you just created will appear. You can go on 1959. And like many of those other types of visualizations too, if you press control, you can click multiple, or if you want to select a couple of different ones, you can just drag a square around the ones that you want to select. So if I do this, I can select 1959, or I can just click on it here. And when I click done, you'll see that again, the entire chapter gets filtered by this visualization filter over here. So that's a really neat way and uh, you can use practically any type of visualization. So if you have something that makes sense in a map, uh, like if you want to select a country, you can create a map visualization instead. And really uh, take it to where you'd like to go. So if you go and edit, you have all your different visualizations here. Uh, this one here doesn't have any map information that would make sense, so we're not going to be able to uh, use either the uh, geospatial service map or the uh, typical S3 map, uh, just because we don't have any geo attributes in this data set. But if you did, you could use those as your visualization filter. So once again, let's delete it to reset the dossier. The next one that we're going to do, and this one kind of changed names recently, which is now called the contextual link. And if you want to use one visualization here to filter another one. So if you go in here, create contextual link, it asks where you want to link to. And because I'm not connected to a MicroStrategy server right now, I'm just in the desktop version, uh, the only option I have is this dossier. But if you were connected to an environment for MicroStrategy, you could use this method to uh, also filter on a different dossier. So in this case, we'll start with the most simple one, which is on the same dossier. And we'll have the source here, the target in the bottom there. We click apply. And the way that works is as you select any of the bars on top, it is going to filter the bottom one. And just like before, you can use, you know, square or something like that. You can control click a couple of different ones and it's going to include all of those uh, in the graph in the bottom there. Alright, so the next type of filter that we have is again under the contextual link, again under this dossier, except this time we'll have the source on page one and the target on page two. And the way this one would work is if we wanted to filter, for example, on 
1967. If I right click and go to page 2, it will not only bring me to page 2, but it will also filter this page based on the selection I had previously. And just like in many cases, you can go here and clear all to get rid of that filter. And uh, if we remove this filter over here, we can select any other year. So if we go with 1979, you can see that it is filtered as 1979 over here. And the same way that we just did that is how you would do the uh, filtering over a different dossier. And that way you can create a link to the other dossier. But on top of that, it will also filter the other dossier based on your selection. And the way you can see that there are links like that happening in here is the little link in the top left here where you can see edit targets and this is where you can select the targets that you want. And if you want to remove a link, you just remove the target, click apply, and this thing is gone. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.